tonight, Texas Republican Louis Gohmert is in quarantine, the 10th member of Congress with a confirmed case of coronavirus. For months, Gohmert has refused to wear a mask while in the Capitol, where there is still no testing system in place for members and staff. CBS's Ben Tracy reports tonight from the White House. Today in Texas, President Trump was supposed to be joined by Texas Republican Congressman Louie Gohmert. But Gohmert tested positive for coronavirus twice during a screening at the White House. He then returned to the Capitol, potentially exposing others, and seemed to blame his mask for getting infected. When I have a mask on, I'm, I'm moving it to make it comfortable. And I can't help but wonder if that you know, put some germs in the mask. Politico reports it received an email from a Gomert staffer saying he requires a full staff in the office and people are berated for wearing masks. Gomert attended yesterday's Judiciary Committee hearing and was seen at the Capitol not wearing a mask in the same hallway as Attorney General Bill Barr. Barr's office says he was tested today. But I happen to be a believer in hydroxy. I used it. I had no problem. Today, President Trump doubled down on hydroxychloroquine, requiring his own health experts to once again remind Americans it doesn't actually work. Hydroxychloroquine is not effective in treating coronavirus disease or COVID-19. You don't need mask. There is a cure. The president admits he has no idea who this doctor is, even though he retweeted a video of her spreading outright medical lies. I was very impressed by her. Know nothing about her. President Trump also now admits that when he talked to Russian President Vladimir Putin last week, he did not mention U.S. intelligence suggesting Russia paid Taliban-linked fighters to kill American troops in Afghanistan. Oh, that was a phone call to discuss other things, and frankly, uh, that's an issue that uh, many people said was uh, fake news. Today, former Vice President Joe Biden said it's time for President Trump to stop tweeting and actually do something about coronavirus. He called that doctor in the video that the president tweeted out an absolute disgrace. Nora. Ben Tracy, thank you.